Right, well, along with damage to buildings, like you just saw there, weather also took a toll on roads. Heaps of snow on top of a sheet of ice caused some serious problems for drivers. Uh, 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill spent the day checking out roads and post-storm cleanup. He joins us live in the studio. Yeah, Katie, two hassles people face in Mahoning and Columbia County today. Bad roads in some spots and cleaning up that snow. Luckily, no one was in the back seat of this SUV in Austin Town Saturday morning. The driver says he hit a patch of ice near Raccoon Road and Burgett Road and slammed into the plow of a Mahoning County engineer's truck. My four-wheel drive was on and I was tried, tried to come down around the corner and, you know, it just, my brakes locked up and it slid straight into his lane and so I turned the wheel all the way, tried to kick it around before I hit the plow and it just didn't work. <laughs> it's too icy. Another driver had some misfortune and lost control on Route 62 in Canfield, finally coming to a stop on the side of the road. Further south in downtown Columbiana, the roads were wet but clear. Plow drivers in the city were able to push most of the snow to the side of the streets. However, people driving through Salem move a little slower than usual, with some roads still covered by snow. Just trying to get traction on my front wheel drive with no four wheel drive, it's hard. I'm sure even drivers with four wheel drive are having troubles. And this snow that fell, it's pretty thick, so it's good to make a snowman or a snowball, but it's not great to plow. Jim Zeiser from Latonia says it took him a couple of hours to clear his driveway and sidewalk with the snow plow. Yeah, the snow's thick, but it's really wet. And so that's why I'm having trouble with it because of the wetness. And State Route 11 in Columbiana County was clear. We did check that out today. The Ohio Department of Transportation says they had 17 trucks out on routes in Columbiana County. From the studio, Tyler Troll, 27 First News.